A lot can be talked about and debated as far as Hal Stewart's feelings for Roxanne Ritchie go. I myself have even dedicated many videos to talking about that exact topic, since there's so much left pretty ambiguous when it comes to exactly how bad Hal was before he became Titan. But what usually isn't talked about as often is what exactly Roxanne felt for Hal, other than the obvious point that she had absolutely no desire for him romantically. But other than that, not much is made certain about how exactly she viewed him, up to and including if she just saw him as a co-worker or viewed him as a genuine friend. And today, I'd like to explore this topic to the best of my ability. Did Roxanne actually like Hal as a friend, or did she only act nice and polite to him simply because that's the kind of person she is? And as I am basically required to say in every Megamind video I make at this point, there will obviously be spoilers for this movie ahead. So if for some reason you haven't seen it yet but plan to, you really shouldn't proceed with this video. Okay, so the first thing that should probably be pointed out here is the scene where Roxanne confronts Hal after he started going on his rampage. Because at first glance, this seems to offer the most insight into how Roxanne might have viewed him, talking fondly about how he used to behave. But the thing is, as some of you are probably quick to point out, she's trying to talk him down when she says these things to him. So she's obviously going to be as nice and put his old self in the best light possible. In other words, She's basically sweet-talking him to try and stop him from destroying the city, so it's impossible to know if what she's saying is how she genuinely felt about him or not. And there's also the fact that Hal outright says she never tried to get to know him as a person, which does imply that the two didn't have much interaction outside of work, especially on Roxanne's end. And when you look at their other interactions throughout the movie, Roxanne appears to treat him the way most people would treat any co-worker who they didn't completely hate and does their intended job well. She thanks him when he does a good job, socializes a bit with him, and that's about it. Even when she takes him to Megamind's lair, she doesn't listen to his attempts to talk her out of going in, and treats getting him home as more of an obligation rather than genuinely helping a friend out. To put it simply, it seems that to Roxanne, Hal was simply a somewhat obnoxious co-worker of hers and was only nice to him because that's the way she is. I mean, just look at their first scene together. She seems pretty offended when he accidentally insults her ode to Metro Man, but when he backtracks, she gives him genuine credit for it because he at least put in the effort not to hurt her feelings. And again, that's simply something Roxanne would do. Then they talk for a bit, and though she doesn't seem to mind socializing with him, she also gives him this look as he walks away from the conversation. It's hard to notice because it's only there for about two seconds, but that look does seem to indicate that she didn't actually enjoy talking to him that much. Sure, that look could simply stem from what he had just said, which she freely admitted was cringeworthy. But I do believe, especially because she only gives that look once his back is turned, that it could imply she doesn't like talking to him as much as she lets on. And the same can be said for the museum scene. Because once again, Roxanne being Roxanne, she tries to let him down easy each and every time. But those looks she gives might not just be from the fact that Hal is making the whole thing insanely awkward. And it's also crystal clear that it's not just because of Metro Man's death that she's turning down his invitation. Though again, 
how much of her demeanor is coming from Hal's behavior, and how much of it is simply coming from the fact that he's inviting her at all isn't clear. Though what is clear is that she's not getting the obvious signs from Hal that he likes her, which is backed up by how utterly baffled she is when he starts making passes at her as Titan as well as her absolute insistence that she would never love him romantically. I mean, that is her right to say that, but she still seems pretty dang sure about it. Though sure, she probably suspected that he had some kind of crush on her, but she clearly didn't see just how infatuated he really was, which only further backs up the idea that she didn't pay him much mind outside of work, despite his, shall we say, quite memorable attempts to change that. And finally, there's the fact that she doesn't seem all that concerned for him when he's clearly been injured. Now, part of that may be because of what she and Bernard had just been through, as well as it being obvious that Hal wasn't seriously hurt, but you'd think that she'd show more concern for him if she really saw him as a friend. But, like I said before, instead she behaves like she simply has to bring her irritable co-worker home and doesn't make a big deal out of the fact that he did get injured. Now, some might counter this by pointing out that she does seem genuinely concerned for him when he drives off in an earlier scene, and that is true. But I'm not trying to argue that she didn't care about him, period, just that she didn't really view him as an actual friend based off her general behavior towards him. Because, as I mentioned earlier, there are even a few times where she really doesn't seem to be enjoying his company. There's obviously the look she gives him in their first scene together, as well as how she reacts to him at the museum, but there are other examples of this as well. Like when Hal starts being rude to Bernard, she's clearly acting like he's a little boy throwing a tantrum, and basically just tells him to ignore him as if she's had to deal with that before, instead of acting more sympathetically to him, since he got hurt because she dragged him there. And, as I also brought up before, she's so final about the fact that she would never love him. Again, you'd think that if she at least liked him as a friend, she wouldn't be so definite about the whole thing but she clearly wants nothing to do with him in that capacity. And not to mention, there's also how she goes on and on about the fact that Hal was a terrible choice for the role of a superhero. Now, sure, she is absolutely right about that, and had just experienced some of his superheroics firsthand, but once again, the way she says it kind of implies that she sees Hal as basically an obnoxious loser that couldn't actually save anybody if he even wanted to. Which, as I just said, is pretty true, but the way she goes about insisting it makes her sound as if she doesn't think too highly of him as a person, let alone a friend. Now, one could probably argue that I'm reading way too much into all of this, and they might be right, but I still do believe that there are many subtle hints throughout the movie that Roxanne didn't like Hal all that much and was simply nice to him because she's nice to everyone and he's a competent cameraman. But if that is indeed the case, that only further goes to show just how delusional and doomed from the start Hal really was in his pursuit of her. But it was still all his own fault for being such an unpleasant person in the first place. We're not getting the hint. Honestly, if she really didn't enjoy his company, rather than act so entitled to her, he should have considered himself lucky that she was even so nice to him in the first place.
Okay, I think I've made my point with this. So now I'd like to hear from you guys. Do you believe that Roxanne didn't actually like Hal all that much and didn't even view him as a friend before he became Titan? Or do you believe she really did see him as a friend before everything went downhill? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please keep in mind that you do not have to agree with me on this video. You are absolutely entitled to your own opinion, and I nor anybody else can tell you you're wrong for feeling the way you do. And thank you all for watching. It is all really appreciated. And I hope to see you all next time.